Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Mark from Mark's Mechanic Minute. And our topic for today is we're checking to see if nitrogen-filled tires change whenever the temperature changes differently than tires that have regular air. And this is important on vehicles that are equipped with a tire pressure monitor system because when the tire reports that it has a low pressure, it's going to turn the tire light on. And then as you're driving down the road and the tire heats up, then it'll turn the light off. The driver's side of the car is going to have just regular air and then the passenger side is going to have our pure nitrogen. We're going to use nitrogen from this tank here. Okay. So we've, we've filled the tires uh, from the nitrogen tank and we did that purge and refill process three times to make sure that all the air, regular air was out of the tire. And, um, and then we're going to set our final tire pressure. We'll use the readings from the tire pressure monitor system so that we get the exact same amount on the driver's and passenger side. This will be the car First thing in the morning with all the tires cold. Check our pressure is hot. Uh, so we took it up on the freeway. We drove it for about 15 minutes. We were watching the temperature. When the temperature stopped climbing, uh, we assumed that that was going to be our ideal or our maximum tire pressure. And uh, what we found was that the tire pressure from the driver's side to the passenger side didn't really change that much. Both sides, it did come up, uh, but it didn't change drastically from one side to the other. So that was our results. Thanks for spending a minute with me. Please click my channel for more great tips in a minute.